So you, at one point you get a call from Orlando, and uh, he wants you to bring two guns with him, with you, to meet up with uh, Reggie and Suge and everybody. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, the dude Edie Paul, he uh, they ain't called me at his office. And then uh, Unk bring two two guys up here. Like, yeah, like yeah. So we go. Uh, I go up there with the two guys. Get there. It's Big Shug, uh, Reynolds, Sergeant Reynolds, and Reggie Reggie Wright. And uh, they hit us uh, with, with some bread. That's okay. So, so. Um. Now this was for him to take the stand and say that Shug was trying to help him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Was Baby Lane suing Tupac in his estate? Was they? Was Baby Lane suing Tupac in his estate? I went to the feds, man, right after that shit happened. So, you know, I wasn't really in the loop. So Shug's in jail, and this is over the alleged kick that did or didn't happen during the, uh, the Orlando Anderson. And... Uh, you guys are trying to get Orlando to say that he didn't kick him. You, you met up with Orlando. How'd that, how'd all that happen? Well, the attorneys mainly set it up. Cause David Kenner in defense was like, hey. Edie followed them and reached out to him and said, hey, they about to file this lawsuit against, you know, death row. So Orlando Tupac. was about to sue death row over getting jumped. Getting jumped, he's a assault victim. Why to this day he didn't sue MGM, I don't know. That's who I would have went after. <laughs> but he was supposed to sue the MGM. I don't know if he did or didn't, but he was definitely about to sue Death Row and Tupac. And so David Kenner was like, hey, let's go meet with him and let's try to get this worked out. So that's when we went and talked to him and was like, okay, we need this to go away. Because Suge's in jail now. And this... And every newspaper article, every time you're on TV, they talking about this. We need Chug out. What can we do to get him out? Because as you can see, Chug was really trying to save you. He was trying to get people off you. Because that's what Chug's initial intent was. Trying to get people off, or, off Orlando. Like, hey, not here. <laughs> can we be doing this here? You know, because Chug worked those clubs and knew Vegas. He knew his cameras all over that motherfucker. We can't do here. But Orlando was holding on to his leg and it was kept pulling on his leg. And at the end, he was like, nigga, get off me. Mm. And, and kicked him. And that's what, you know, she ended up getting violated for nine years of, of uh, a probation violation. For one little kick. Yep. And then, um, so you guys ended up. Uh, Orlando came in and testified for sure. Yeah, so Orlando came in, and, and so we convinced them and, 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 and had him to agree. I think he agreed that she was really trying to save him and not, and not hurt him. And he came and testified to that fact. Now, Kiki D make it seem like they got paid right there on the spot. No. It didn't happen down the line. I think the estate ended up paying them. They what? The estate, the Tupac estate in a panel. Oh. Uh, yeah, I forget who, who it was, if it was the estate or, or death row, but it all was agreed upon by Afini's attorneys and our attorneys as well. So this was part of the settlement, The too. settlement, yeah. See, that's what everybody thinks. It was like, here's $6,000 to come and testify. No, nigga, we didn't give you $6,000 to come and testify. We gave you $6,000 to drop everything. Because if you would have sued Tupac for that assault, Come on, how much would y'all ask for if Tupac assaulted y'all back then? I know people, yeah. Yeah. People you waiting for that to happen. A lot. Hit me. <laughs> well, people would have been yeah, lined yeah. up. Like, stomp me out. Yeah, stomp me out. I'll take that ass whooping for. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's when they settled the, the 60 thou, because Orlando was filing a million dollar lawsuit against Tupac. And the sixty thousand was part of that settlement. No, hell no. That we met at that lawyer's office. Yeah. Hell no. I was just to say he didn't get kicked him. Okay. Only had nothing to do with that, dude. Nothing to do with that. This was all cash money, dude. With no checks or none of that shit. All right. 
It had nothing to do with no fucking settlement, no lawsuit, or none of that shit. Just some street shit, dude. All right. Did Orlando use the money to start a record label? Or did he want to start a record label? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, what do you think? Was that his dream to be a rapper? Mm, no. I ain't really no rapper. No. I ain't a boss. You know, I'm going to be a easy, uh, CEO or something. Real smart, intelligent young man. All right. Um, so you go to the... So you go to the House of Blues and they're having a CD release party for, I think it's Easy e And you've seen Snoop and Puff and everybody was there, the Dog Pound. Yeah. And um, you run into Puff. Yeah. And what happens? Oh, he's, uh, my little homie, he was, uh, he was in the VIP up there and he like, your boy Puff up here? So we went up there, woo woo. We mingled with him for a little while and he said uh, that day he was going to give up, uh, they give him a party the next night at the, uh, at the, uh, what's the name? Auto Museum up there on Fairfax in Wilshire. So that night, I mean, when we got a, we got in our car and he was getting ready to leave. So he was, uh, I guess he was standing in the Palencia that's right across the street from, uh, from the House of Blues. There's a hotel right there, the white one. Okay. So uh, we were standing there on the curb. He came to the car, and he like, what's up, man? And that shit, dude, uh, <laughs> we, had, we had a war, internal war going on, so we had our guns. And he was on the car, he, that motherfucker never took his eyes off of us. Even though, he, I'm talking about he backed up, people was all over him, buh, buh. That motherfucker never took his eyes off of us. Like, damn, like we was gonna do something to him. He even tripped over the curb. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. So did he look scared to you? Yeah, yeah, he looked spook, spooky. But yeah. I seen him the next night. Uh, he let us in uh, at that club. He got us. I was I was one of the baddest parties I ever been to. The night that Biggie got killed. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that was fucked up. What happened that night? What happened that night? We uh, we went up in there. Got in there with our little passes and shit. You weren't asking Puff about the money at this point. You weren't like, yo. He didn't want to talk about anything? What's that? No, listen. I go up there to the club. We go, go up in the club. And uh, he like, KBD, the, the FBI is on our ass. They've been on us since we got off the plane. You know what I'm saying? The hip hop police. That's what he called them. And he said the FBI. But, uh. So he gave us like three bottles. I went over there to the side and shit. Well, oh, so you guys didn't really hang out with him that night? No, uh, then uh, about maybe an hour and a half later, the fire marshals came and closed the club down. Then boom, we was going to meet up at the Beverly Hilton. They told us to come up to the Beverly Hilton and shit. And, you know, do our thing up there, have some fun. And shit, once Big pulled out, damn, fucking... Maybe about a minute later, Big is dead. Yeah. Yeah.